Brookfield Engineering offers screen protectors for our new DV3T rheometer. Before you apply the screen protector, make sure you have read all of the instructions carefully. You must first power off the unit. You then want to clean the rheometer's touchscreen with the provided cloth. Any debris, dust, or oil on the touchscreen may prevent proper adhesion of the screen protector. Once the screen is clean, identify tab 1 and tab 2 prior to removing any protective layers. Remove the bottom half of tab 1. You then align the foam backing of the protector to the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Alignment is critical. If the screen protector is not aligned properly, you may lose functionality of the touch screen. Once aligned, gently press the exposed side of the protector against the screen and then continue to peel back tab 1 until it is removed. You can press the top of the screen protector to ensure it is applied correctly. Once applied, peel back tab 2 all the way to remove the backing and complete the adhesion process. Once the screen protector is applied, you will most likely have air bubbles trapped between the protector and the screen. Use the provided soft card to push trapped air bubbles from the center of the screen to the edge. Smaller bubbles should go away within 48 hours. You then want to test the rheometer to ensure that the screen protector was applied properly. If done properly, the DV3T will respond when you press the touch screen. If the DV3T does not respond to touch, then remove the screen protector and reapply.